to you by our exclusive fabric partners. Be sure to look for their newest lines of fabric. Welcome to Quiltmaker's Block Network. I'm Eileen Fowler from Quiltmaker Magazine, and in this episode, I'm going to show you Camellia's Garden, block number 864, designed by Camellia Elliott for Quiltmaker's 100 Blocks, volume nine. And I'll show you some tips to make this block assembly a little easier for you. For this block, you'll need an assortment of solid fabrics, a black, a white, a red, a yellow, a blue, and a green. The cutting dimensions for the patches are on the right of your screen. If you need to write these down, pause your video. Okay, the first step we're going to do is we're going to make bands by sewing the black strips to the white strips. And most people would then take the ruler and rotary cutter and using the mat as a guide, cut one and a half inch increments to make units that look like this. All right, I'm gonna show you a way to speed up this process. I have a second band made the same way as the first band. I'm going to flip this over onto the first band so that opposite sides are together and I'm gonna lock those seams in so they nest really well. And I'm going to line this up on my rotary cutting mat and I'm going to use a ruler to cut one and a half inch increments this way, and now I've got two units being cut at once, and not only do you have two units cut at once, but they're already lined up and ready to take to your sewing machine to, to sew. This block also has some triangles that can be tricky to sew together. The unfinished size when the triangles are sewn together needs to be two and a half inches by four and a half inches. And a lot of people think that just lining up the triangles with the points end to end. From here to here will give you your perfect rectangle when they're sewn together. And here are two pieces that are actually sewn. When I open them up and check their size, you can see that this rectangle is a lot longer than the four and a half inches and a lot shorter than two and a half inches so that doesn't work. A lot of people think that maybe offsetting the two triangles by about a quarter of an inch on each end will work. When I sew those two together and open that up, I can see that my rectangle is still too long on this end and still too short on this end. So what to do? I found the best way to make this work is to trim this long point off of the triangle. And the best tool I found is the Tri-Rex tool. And I'm just gonna line up the four and a half inch line on this side, and I'm going to trim off the point so that it looks like this. Now when I take the two triangles and line them up. You can see how well that point fits in this side. And I'll flip it over and it fits exactly into this side. And then when I sew the two patches together and open them up, now my unit is exactly two and a half inches by four and a half inches. Once your units are made, here is how you assemble the block. You'll want to sew all the patches and units that are in the center together first. Then you'll take your checkerboard border on the sides, sew them to the center. You'll add these square patches to the end of the checkerboard for the top and bottom, and then sew those to the center. And here is your finished block. Here is what the block would look like in a zigzag setting. Camellia's Garden and 99 other fun blocks are available in Quiltmaker's 100 Blocks Volume 9. 
Thanks for joining us today. We hope you'll be back again soon for another episode of Quiltmakers Block Network. <laughs> Camellia's garden and... <laughs> and what and what? 